What's going on, guys? So, we're coming back at you with another four loops um, tutorial, pr practicing loops. So, let's go ahead and get started by heading over to Code Academy and continuing where we left off last time. How does it work? Let's go ahead and reset our console before we get started, though. So, let's uh, reset this. Alright, how does it work? We've gone through three bits of syntax for a for loop, but exactly how does it work? Let's imagine the steps the computer takes to run the for loop on the right. Well, it starts off with i equals 2. It then asks, is i currently less than 13? Because i equals 2, this is true, and we can continue. We do not want to increment now. Instead, of the condition is met, we run the code block first. Here, the code block prints out the value of i. It is currently 2, so 2 will be printed out. Once the code block is finished, the for loop then increments slash decrements. Here we add 1, then, or now, <coughs> i equals 3. We check if it is less than 13. If it is true, we run the code block again. The code block runs, and then we increment after. We repeat the steps until the condition i is less than 13 is no longer satisfied. So, make the computer start counting at 8. Keep counting while i is less than 120. Count up by increments of 12. So to do this, i equals 8, i is less than 120, and i plus equals 12. This way, it will count up by 12 each time. Go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we get 8, 20, 32, 44, and so on, all the way up to 116. And we got the green light, so let's go ahead and go to the next exercise. Practicing counting down. Before we get started, it's always nice to reset. <coughs> For loops only run when the condition is true. Do not run the code without changing it. It is important that there is a way for the for loop to do in. If the for loop is always going to be true, then you'll be stuck in an infinite loop. Your computer will crash. Look at the code, it is bad. So if we go ahead and read this right quick, it's saying that i equals 1. i is greater than and equal to 1, which if i plus plus, that will always be true, because you're going to count from 1 up to an infinity, and sooner or later your computer will crash. And we look on the left hand side, we can see that it begins with 1. It will keep counting as long as i is greater than or equal to 1. Because i equals to 1, the first code will be ran. We increment 1, or we increment i by 1, so now i is 2. This satisfies the condition. We run the code, increment i by 1 again, and now i is equal to 3. This satisfies the condition at once again, because i is greater than or equal to 1. So, as you can see, we will keep incrementing the code up by 1. It will always satisfy the condition. The loop will never in, this will cause your computer to crash. Changing the code such that it starts counting from 10, we want it to stop counting at 0, and we want it to count down by 1. So, we just go ahead and say i equals 10, i is greater than or equal to 0, and we want to make sure we do i minus minus. This way, it will start at 10 and count all the way down to 0. And if we did it correctly, you will get from 10 to 0 in your console and you'll get the green light. So let's go ahead into the next exercise. <coughs> go ahead and reset this. We have a great handle on for loops now. This will be the la last practice one before we look at a cool ways to use them. The next exercise induces or introduces you to an arrays. So instead of just counting numbers up and down, we can make the computer do more interesting things with loops. Write a for loop that gets the computer to count down from 100 to 0 by 5. So to go ahead and start this, we just say for open parenthesis var i, and really this can be whatever you want, equals 100. i is greater than equal to 0. i minus equals 5. And then we can console.log i. So this should start at 100 and count all the way down to 0 by 5. 
And if we look at this, we did not start at the right thing. So we got an error. So, oh. I put 1 instead of I. Let's go ahead and run this again. Sorry about that. So there we go. So we got it correct because we see 195, 90, 85. So it just counts all the way down by 5. Alright guys, if you liked this video, make sure to thumbs it up. And subscribe for more future videos. Leave comments if you get stuck. And stay tuned for more For Loops practices. Until next time guys, peace.